Welcome to the ADR video informational series. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to caption your videos in YouTube. From the YouTube dashboard, select Video Manager from the list of options on the left. Once in the Video Manager, select Uploads option in the upper right hand corner. After the Select Files to Upload screen opens, select your privacy settings for this video. Then, either browse for your video material or drag and drop it from the desktop if it is loaded there. And then you wait for it to upload. When your video is done uploading, select the Done button located at the end of the processing tracker. Then go back to the Video Manager and you will find your video in the Video Manager screen. Then, next to the video that you are working on will be an Edit drop-down menu. Select Subtitle CC from this menu. Then, in the window that opens up, select Add New Subtitle or Closed Caption. The video will appear and you will be asked to select a language. After selecting the language, three options for captioning will appear. The first will be to upload either a transcript or a timed caption file. The second will be to type or cut and paste a transcript into a window that will be provided, and the timing will be adjusted automatically in YouTube. The last method is to watch the video and type captions as you watch. We will look at the first option first, which is Upload a File. Select Upload File. In the dialog box that opens, select either transcript or subtitle, depending on what you plan to upload. In this case, we'll be uploading a transcript. Note that a transcript must be a TXT file format. Then select Upload. A window will open up with your video and the uploaded .txt file. Note the Set Timings button in the lower right hand corner. Selecting this will let YouTube try to match your transcript to the timing of the audio. Select English for setting the timings. And a new window will appear. You will notice that in this window, the captions are placed on a timeline underneath the video for editing the timing. And the uploaded transcript appears on the left to edit the text of the captions. The first thing to do is to play the video in this screen and see if there are any text or timing errors. Here we go. I'm not sure it's really a good idea, but I'm out here filming bees pollinating the flowers. You can probably hear them buzzing around. They're doing a little pollinating here in the mesquites. And also out in the ocotillos. So now we can drag the cursor back to the beginning of the video and begin correcting the text and timing. I'm going to work on the text of the captions first. To do this, you simply go over to the list of captions on the left and edit. If you want to add or move a caption, Go to the box above the list and type or paste in the caption you would like to add or move. Then highlight the caption that is just under where you want to put the new caption and select the plus next to the box and the caption will appear in the editing sequence. Next, you can adjust the timing of the captions in the timeline that is located under the video as I will demonstrate here. I'm not sure it's really a good idea, but I'm I'm out here filming bees pollinating the flowers. You can probably... Flowers. You can probably hear them buzzing... doing a little 
If you notice additional corrections to the text, you can fix these at any time as you correct the timing. We're doing a little pollinating here in the mesquites. And also out in the Ocotillos. Then you can play it back and check your work and make any additional adjustments. I'm not sure it's really a good idea, but I'm out here filming bees pollinating the flowers. You can probably hear them buzzing around. We're doing a little pollinating here in the mesquites and also out in the Ocotillos. Okay, next we're going to look at the transcribe and auto sync option. To get started, select transcribe and auto sync. A window will open with your video on the left and a box to type in your captions on the right. For this, you'll want to make sure that paused video when typing box is checked, unless you're a very fast typist. I will demonstrate how this works here. Simply start your video and type in what you hear. The video will stop playing whenever you start to type. So you want to start typing as soon as you've heard as much as you think you can remember. I'm not sure it's really a good idea, but I'm I'm out here filming bees pollinating the flowers. You can probably hear them buzzing around. doing a little pollinating here in the mesquites. And also out in the Ocotillos. When you're done and made any edits, select Set Timings. Then select English Setting Timings and you will again see a window with your video, with the captions editable on the left and timing editable underneath. You can refine your text and timing here in the same way as discussed previously in the Transcript Upload option. Thanks for watching and thanks for your interest in Access for All.